Hey everyone, I'm Armazi, welcome back to some more XCOM enemy within the long war. So, let's continue where we left off. I already sent Marco and Bella to get adaptive bomb marrow. That will take 7 days and it costed me 30 meld. But I'm getting adaptive bomb marrow for all my master surgeons. Other than that, I need to scan for exalt cells. This will be one of the last exalt missions. Exalt Fortunately, I think we can do the HQ mission after this. So, let's see, who's going to be our operative? Some engineer, most likely. Maybe our least experienced engineer? That's a pretty good way to get experience. Yeah, I like that idea. So, laser pistol and some grenades. Off you go. We'll probably get some other mission before this, but who knows. I will get Aegis armor before the Exalt mission, so that's nice. We got armor tech research credit, but I'm going to do the sector commander autopsy first. I need to do that anyway, and I'll still want to try capturing a sector commander. And in order to interrogate a sector commander, I need to have the autopsy done. Two scientists for chrysalid corpses. I don't need 30 chrysalid corpses. I'm going to accept this one. That's 22 scientists. Okay, not bad. Advanced surgery is done. This was one of the most expensive foundry projects. I'm glad I'm done with that one. So keep scanning. Side training. Failure again, really? Well, let's send him to signing training again. I want to get something for Luis. He has 61 will, which is not that amazing, but I want to have some inspiration on him. And success. Okay, Ivan got mind fray now, I believe. And one more. Failure. Oh well, whatever. Let's send two people to signing training. Maybe someone less experienced or someone with good will. 54 will on Jeff. Let's see, Donnie. 50 will. Yeah, okay, mind fray for Donnie. And one more person. Let's see. Who do we have? We have a lot of people. Maybe mind fray for one of the scouts. Let's see, someone with decent will. This guy, 51. 51 is not that great, but whatever. He can get mind fray. So, small UFO. Alright, we'll shut it down. Which means we might get a crash site. Before the exalt mission. I would honestly prefer to just destroy this. To get the money boost. Did we destroy it? Yes, we did. No, we got a crash site. Okay, we'll do the crash site. I'm definitely going to use some less experienced soldiers for this one. I have quite a few people who can use more experience. So let's see, but I'm going to send someone to babysit them. Maybe bagels? Yeah, sure. Or I could use bagels for the exalt mission. I do have some other mech troopers. Let's see, Hulk. And where's Ariadne? There she is. She should be pretty close to a promotion. Okay, not that close, but she definitely needs experience. She's coming. Let's check our gunnery surgeons. How's Kostya? Oh yeah, he's pretty close to Master Sergeant. He's coming. Who else? What about Emmanuel? Yeah, she's not that close. She just got promoted to Gunnery Sergeant, I think. We're going to need a medic. Who's our least experienced medic? I really need more medics. Okay, this guy again. Sure. More. Oh, what about Matthew? He got some kills during his last mission. Yeah, he's very close to promotion. He's coming. He needs snapshot ASAP. What about... This guy? Hmm. Yeah, okay, I'll bring him. He needs experience though. And he has hit ammo. So, we need few more people. We need a scout. We definitely need a scout. And maybe someone with an arc thrower? I could bring Jeff with an arc thrower. That's not a terrible idea. And maybe we'll get a chance to capture a sector commander, for example. Or Tatiana with an arc thrower, because she has slightly better mobility than Jeff. So that kind of makes sense. Alright. So, pulse rifle. 
and arc thrower and she will still have three grenades so that's nice there's the arc thrower and carapace armor right i'll need to make items available first let's finish our squad we still need a scout maybe some scout who's close to a promotion what about this dude he has 17 mobility he's not very close to a promotion but he does need experience what about some other scouts I'm just checking. No, not really. Next. Specialist scouts? No. Maybe? Their stats are pretty bad. Yeah, these two people are like the last resort. When I run out of scouts, that's what they're there for. 6 hit points. 21 aim. Yeah, none of these people are close to promotion. I'll just bring the dude with 17 mobility. That makes sense. So this guy. He's actually pretty damn good. He also has 10 defense. That's really nice. One last slot. For someone. Let's see, who needs experience? Some sergeant or corporal? Shen, what about Shen? Oh yeah, she's pretty close to promotion, and her stats are really good. 86 aim in sergeant rank. That's our squad then. Make items available. And... Right, Tatiana. Crapaze armor, probably. Does 13 hit points with the arc thrower. Yeah, that works. No laser pistol. I'll try to capture some aliens. I can always use their weapons. I didn't capture anything in a while. This guy. Aegis armor for him. He needs to not die. He's one of my two scouts with 17 mobility. And he already has Sprinter on top of that. So he definitely needs to not die. That means he'll be using Chitin Plating. And... False Rifle... Pistol. Actually, no. I'll save the pistols for other people. No assault in this squad, but that should be fine. Alright, looks good to me. 15 hit points and 21 mobility. Next up, Shen. Rapace armor. No, not Scatter Blaster. Pulse rifle. Pistol in case she runs out of ammo. I don't think she needs this anymore. Oh, apparently she does. Right, I think she needs one more promotion to get lock and load. As an ability, not from an item. Flashbang grenade or maybe a scope. That's 96 aim with a pulse rifle. I like that. And 11 hit points. Sounds good. So, Kostya. Pulse auto blaster for you. And preferably a scope. Because rapid fire. Carapace armor. Do I have enough carapace armor for everyone? No, I don't. 11 hit points with phalanx armor should be good enough. Let's see. This guy could use carapace armor, maybe. That's 9 hit points. Yes, he's a sniper, but I'm a little bit paranoid about low hit point snipers. It doesn't mean they will never get shot at. Who else needs Carapace armor? No one. He's the last one. So either Kostya or Matthew. On the other hand, I don't want Kostya to get wounded. He does not have adaptive bomb marrow and he's kind of important. He's one of my best gunners with rapid fire and hit ammo. So Carapace armor for him and I might just use alloy plating. On Matthew. That means I won't have a battle scanner, but this is just a small UFO crash site. I shouldn't need a battle scanner for this one. Yeah, that's 9 hit points. I could even give him chitin plating if I want 10 hit points. There are quite a few aliens that can do 9 damage very easily. Non crit. Okay, 10 hit points, 90 aim. That's good enough. And this guy. He already has the weapon, alloy bipod, scope. That's 91 aim. Do I have one more scope to use? No, I'm using all four. 
Okay, Ariadne. No need choice here. Kinetic Strike module, Flamethrower. Well, this is a choice. Alloy Belt, Autoloader, Holo Targeter. But I prefer Alloy Belt. She doesn't have Repair Servos, so she needs the hit points. And she also doesn't really need the Autoloader. She can fire twice per turn, like Bagels can. And I think we're ready. Looks solid enough to me. I'm just checking the weapons. Yep. Looks good to me. Let's go then. Should be a fun mission. Even a small EFO crash site can be quite hard at this stage of the game if you get, let's say, a full group of mutant elites. These guys are no joke. Full group of mutant elites can turn a fairly easy mission into a pretty hard mission. Which is why I don't plan to bring really weak squads to these missions, because enemies like mutant elites can definitely pop up, even in a full group, and I would have a really bad time with a weak squad. I really don't like not bringing an assault, but we should be okay. Oh, there's an ML container over there. Our scout can grab that. But let's not do anything crazy. I'll just move, as normal. And maybe grab it on the next turn. I could move up here. And he should be able to load that on the next turn. And this won't trigger anything. Yeah, with his mobility, he can load that on the next turn. And I can see the UFO in front of us. Alright then. I wonder what kinds of aliens we'll get here. You go here. So, who, who needs the kills? Matthew needs at least one or two kills. I'm really hoping to get a promotion from this mission for him. He needs to get Snapshot ASAP. He will be so much better and more useful with Snapshot. No need to ask twice. That's the exact reason why I'm training him to have another sniper with Snapshot. That's literally it. So, steady weapon. Well, let's find out what aliens we got. I didn't hear a whole lot. I heard some thin men. That's not very intimidating. Let's go get the meld. This might trigger something, no? <laughs> I'm actually amazed that I didn't trigger any groups with this bob. <laughs> yeah, I uncovered a lot of the fog, but okay. That's fine. That means I can dash safely. And that means we might get even more meld containers from this mission. Now, where do I want Matthew? Possibly where Aditya is. He might not get line of sight to everything. Hmm. Yeah, he might not get line of sight to aliens on the left side. So, up here is a little bit better. This is only partial cover, but he does have low profile. Alright, let's keep moving. That's Kostya. So, move like this. And I can dash with my Gatling Pulser, dude. Like this. Yep, looks good enough to me. We won't trigger anything with this move, because we would have triggered that already. And Shen. I'll use Overwatch still. Just in case some patrol runs into us. And last but not least, Tatiana. She's the one with the Arc Thrower. I'll try to capture at least one alien, if only to get an alien weapon. Not necessarily for interrogations. I wouldn't mind more alien rifles, not carbines. I could use a few more, for sure. I don't have enough for research, but I'll need more to make the actual weapons later. I think I only have enough to do the research and then make one rifle or something like that. Well, in any case, We'll try to capture something, as long as it's not too risky. Oh yeah, that's the dude with Gatling Pulser. This is a pretty good position. He can stay there. Still no aliens though, where the heck are all the aliens? They might be inside the UFO, or maybe on the other side of the map. There should be at least one patrol, so I'm expecting to see a patrol running into us any moment. Okay, Matthew will stay here and use steady weapon. 
And Tatiana, keep moving. Still nothing, alright. Well, whatever. We are playing hide and seek with the aliens today, apparently. <laughs> Come on, show your ugly faces. At least we know where Meld is. Let's go get more Meld then. This move will probably trigger something. I might trigger the outsider. No, I didn't. Okay, I might just go deal with the outsider first. But that will attract other aliens. It's not necessarily the best idea of all times. Oh, there we go. We got the outsiders. That's fine. But now I should definitely hunker down or something. These guys have amazingly high aim. So it would be nice to just kill one. 32%. Alright, I'll take that shot. That will give me holo targeting. And that was a hit. Awesome. 7 damage already. Let's see. I can take a shot with Matthew. And this should be pretty high chance to hit. 70%. Oh, and I see the melt container in the back. We might be able to load that. I need to hurry up with this. Oh, what? One hit point, really? I hate outsiders with one hit point because they will just regenerate. And that's super annoying. 61%. Not amazing, but I'll take that shot. Okay, that's a kill. So, one outsider down. I'm a little bit worried about that other outsider. Because outsiders in late game on impossible are some of the highest aim aliens in the game. So these guys can hit you in some really ridiculous situations. If you're hunkering down behind full cover using a smoke grenade and they can still hit you. Because not only they get a total of plus 20 aim from alien progression, they get another plus 20 aim on impossible compared to classic. They get plus 10 on brutal and then plus 10 again on impossible. On top of up to plus 20 aim from alien progression. And they can also get an aim bonus from the weapon. So yeah, they can have around 120 aim. If I'm not mistaken. And that's just ridiculously high. I can for a flashbang grenade. So I'm definitely going to do that. The funny part is that even with the flashbang grenade. He will still have around 60-70 aim. Overwatch. And we got some aliens incoming, as expected. Since when you engage outsiders, that attracts other aliens. That's a lot of thin men. That was a huge group. Now imagine that entire group had mutant elites only. That could turn a mission that would have been easy otherwise into a pretty tough one. This guy needs to die. Preferably right now. I can actually flank him. Is this going to be a flank? Moving yes, this is going to be a flank. Alright. And this will give us holo targeting. 25% chance to crit. Please get a nice crit. Okay, not a crit, but 6 damage. Not too bad. Let's see. Our gunner first. That's only 46%. Right, he does have full cover here. But I'll take this shot anyway. Missed. Oh well. Can't hit every single time. Obviously. My engineer is not close enough to throw a grenade. Or maybe she is. She might be. She is an engineer. She is an engineer after all. So she has better range with grenades. I think I'll try. Yeah, okay, let's try. But I'm not doing it just yet. I want to check how many shots I can take at that outsider on this turn. I can flank the outsider. Okay, this should be almost a guaranteed kill. Yeah, I will destroy his cover. So I can keep Tatiana over there. There we go. Two damage and his cover is gone. I should have done this first before I took the shot with my gunner. But that's fine. 80%. And that's a kill. For Matthew. Very nice. He needs experience. I hope... Oh, and that got him a promotion. Perfect. I was going to say that I hope he'll get a promotion from this mission. <laughs> he already did. Now, back to the Thin Man. I saw a lot of Thin Man over there. I need to reposition myself. So this guy needs to move. I might use a smoke grenade. Yeah, I could give quite a few people smoke grenade right now. That probably makes sense. Alright, it's not like I'll use it for anything else. Yep, that will give 
four people smoke grenade. Pretty good. I think I'll have to ignore that melt container on the left side. I need to focus on the thin man. And I don't think I'm going to bother capturing thin man. I was going to try capturing something in this mission, but I don't really need more carbines. I need rifles, and I don't need thin men. I would try to capture any alien that uses a rifle, not a carbine. Okay, this guy can probably stay here on Overwatch. And Shen... Yep, stay here on Overwatch. We should get a reaction shot or two easily, so we might get a kill. Our aim is pretty good, in most cases. If Shen gets a shot, that will give her like 60-20% chance to hit with the reaction shot. Actually, more than that, because she's infantry. Yeah, much more than that. She does have opportunist. So that's pretty much what she's built for, reaction shots. Yeah, yeah, there's meld. So, Ariadne. We still have enough ammo for two more shots. Yeah, that's quite a lot of thin men. I'm not close enough to use the flamethrower. No, I'm not. But I should be able to use it on the next turn. And we're actually flanking one thin man. So that's a kill. Nice one. Holo targeting, because you know, we totally need holo targeting on the corpse. Back to Matthew. 60%. Oh, 90%. Yep, that's a good shot. Probably won't be a kill. Yeah, it will be a kill. Nice one. I need to move my Gatling Pulser Gunner. What's his name anyway? Flynn, right. So... This should be close enough, and there's no way he will get flanked. No. And this should be close enough to give him a shot on the next turn. Or not? How does he not have line of sight? Oh, I guess some of these rocks and the tree might be blocking his line of sight. Oh well. So, what about Tatiana? I could throw a grenade. Then that's not a terrible idea. She does have 13 hit points. If I move here, she will be able to throw a grenade easily, but she will only have partial cover. Still, I think it's worth doing. Let's see. I can't hit all three. Or well, I can actually hit all three. But this won't do amazing damage to any of them. I prefer to do more damage to the thin man closest to me. So like this, this should destroy his cover. And I should be able to get a kill. Like that. And now we are flanking him. Someone can probably get a kill. Yes, Our scout can get a kill. 23%. Well, if he hits, that's a kill. And we still got Shen. I still got the smoke. But this is not close enough. I'll use Overwatch. And our medic, dude. Not a lot of cover that I can use over here. Oh, he's actually in range. Mind fray. 26%. I can't kill that thin man on this turn anyway. So might as well use mind fray to lower his chance to hit. These guys have fairly high chance to hit, but not nearly as high as outsiders. And Kostya. He can't do much on this turn, so I'll just move him as close as possible. I think this is the only group in this mission. I mean, this was a small UFO crash site. I don't think there are any more aliens after this. So this was a nice training mission. But yeah, imagine this was a full group of mutant elites. That would be a very, very different mission in that case. We got poisoned. Whatever. He will die anyway. So let's get a kill for Ariadne, perhaps. Her chance to hit will be a little bit lower now, but I can hit him in the face. So this should be close to 100%, despite the penalty. And are we done? We should be done now. Most likely. Out of ammo. Yep, we're done. Only 8 aliens. But that's fine. I like having a training mission from time to time. Matthew got a promotion, that's the important part. I think we should get at least one more promotion on top of that. 
Yeah, two promotions. Oh, for Shen, right. She was pretty close. And that's going to be lock and load. That's 89 aim at tech sergeant rank. And Matthew. That's snapshot. Obviously. That's what I needed him for. Costa will be wounded for six days. That's fine. We got some damaged UFO parts. I'll just sell that right away. I'm going to need quite a lot of money this month. Over 100 credits. Okay, so this was a pretty short one. I'm going to end this part here and continue in the next one. If you enjoyed this episode, please consider leaving a like. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.